Hello guys, Nebel Times here, welcome to a new video and today we have yet another very exciting video. Wow! Today we are actually unboxing a very vintage product, the iPod Shuffle 3rd generation. Okay, so this iPod Shuffle was released in 2010, if I'm not mistaken. It was the 3rd generation, which came before the 4th generation, which is the one that we all know with the a uh, square design and the controls on it. This one didn't have controls and it was quite controversial because Apple decided to include headphones at the back which had the controls in the headphone themselves. I got this actually on a very fair price. Uh, it's, it's not sealed, it was open, but it has never been used. All the accessories are here and everything, so we're gonna proceed to unbox it. So first, well, you would have to remove this, which I already removed, but that's it. And then you open it and you can see the apple itself. It was released in quite a few colors, I'm not sure how many now, but quite a few. And this one is the green, I guess, or lime green, or whatever it's called. And yeah, to remove it, we just... Ah, okay, there's two slabs here, and you just pull them. Put the one, and now the... Hmm, this is harder than I thought. Okay, now. Now it came out. <coughs> Okay, so it's a little bit scratched apparently at the back. You have the Apple logo there, and you have yeah nothing at the front, and you have a clip to attach it to your sh uh, your shirt or something. And it's very nice. So we'll see this more in depth later. Now, where do we have? We have the uh, headphones as I talked about with the remote and mic. You can see these are not the AirPods, or e I mean, of course they're not AirPods, they have a wire. But they're not even the EarPods, which were the ones before that, that had the same in-ear design as the AirPods. These ones are just round and plain. <laughs> but yeah, you can see one here. I don't really want to take them out of this. They're stored here correctly, I'm not going to use them anyway. So i probably keep them here for a while. But yeah, and they're pretty new actually. They've never been used. Also, we have a charging cable. And how do you charge it? Well, with the jack. The 3.5mm jack. Which Apple ironically removed from the iPhone later. And it was the only port that this little thing had. So you just plug it here. And you could charge it or sync it via iTunes. Because of course the music has to be synced via iTunes. There's no Apple Music or anything in this. And then... <coughs> some paperwork here. Actually, quite a bit of paperwork. And, very important, Apple stickers. Super teeny tiny Apple stickers that are matching the teeny tiny um, iPod. And actually, fun fact, my father bought an iPod Nano, a 7th generation, the very last one that came out, and it had the same size Apple sticker. And I used one of them on my custom Lego Apple Store. So you can see an image of that. So yeah, it's actually useful. And I think it's actually the only Apple sticker I've really ever used. And I have quite a few. So yeah, it's nice to get them in different sizes. Okay, so now let's dive on to the actual AirPod, uh, iPod itself, sorry. Just not used to saying that word. So as you can see, it has this button here, this switch, and it has three positions. Right now it's in off, is it? Yeah, off. You can actually see the text there. And then uh, repeat is just in the middle. It's a little bit hard. Yep, and you can see a tiny bit of green and then in shuffle, which is its name. And you can see the whole thing in green. So actually this has battery because I charged it. And yeah, so now what we have to do is actually connect it to iTunes, get some music in it, and then we will be able to try it. So let's go. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is of course connect the iPod to the Mac itself. And in my case, I have just uh, connected the iPod to the 3.5 millimeter jack. So, as I don't need any USB-C to USB fancy adapter, I'm just going to connect it here and we will see what happens. So, this open now. Uh, welcome to your new iPod. As I said, this iPod has never been used, so it's like new. We'll click continue. Of course, I have read the iPod software license agreement. Now it's syncing with iTunes. So, we'll click get started. And here we have lots of versions. So, software version 1.1 and it's up to date. You can see the little 
iPod here, that is funny. And yeah, what interests us, of course, is music. You can also load audiobooks and podcasts. In my case, I'm gonna load music. So, this iPod has 2 gigabytes. I believe it was this version was also available in 4 gigabytes. This one only has 2. So, I cannot fit my entire music library. So, we're just gonna uh, load some test ones. So, Alan Walker, Alesso. These are old songs because I use Apple Music now and they're not here. But yeah, like Chemical Romance. And you can see the bar down here with all the how the space is going. So, we could actually add quite a few more things. Let's add a playlist. I wanna add. Um, these are very old playlists. But we'll add this one. And as you can see, it's pretty much full now. So we'll tap apply. And right now it's syncing with the iPod and putting the music. It's 179 songs. So it's gonna take a little while. Okay, so as you can see, the iPod finished uh, syncing. So now we're gonna eject it and just listen to some music. Okay, so now that it finished syncing, we're of course gonna detach the cable. It's actually fairly warm. And we're gonna get some headphones and listen to music. <laughs> Just kidding, of course this is not support Bluetooth. So we need some wired headphones. I haven't used this in like wired headphones uh, since I have the AirPods. So in like over two years. Yeah, over two years. So it's gonna be pretty weird. But yeah, I'm gonna put them on and I'm gonna put one of these on and we're gonna see the controls. So, well, actually I need to show you the actual remote because there are no controls on the iPod itself so we press once this is pretty much what we're used to with everything so right now as you can see it's in uh, shuffle mode the thingy is on the third one so we should press play and it should play now it's playing for some reason actually it played in the middle of a song and I cannot control it Hmm, this is weird. Actually, I switched this and there was a little sound indicating that I had switched. So that's nice. The same again. It was actually a different sound, so nice. So with this, we should be able to control. But we're not. Hmm, so that's interesting. Maybe I have to use the actual original headphones. So let me try that. Okay, so now we connect this here. And play it. I don't know if you can hear, but it is playing. And here. Okay, so actually this doesn't work with the earpods. What is this? Why not? I don't understand it. But it does work with this. So that is very interesting and very unfortunate, in my opinion. But yeah, I guess it's what you get. So yeah, I'll show you the controls on this one. So it's pretty much what you know. Two, two clicks skips forward, three clicks skip, uh, skips backwards, if you hold down you have voiceover so you can say something like shuffle or uh, play whatever song and then of course volume up, volume down and that's pretty much it actually so yeah this was made for the time for people that went running a lot or something they could clip it in their shirt or something and just go running but yep, today with Apple Music, smartphones and things in general, it doesn't make much sense to have one, but I still wanted to have one like Vintage and to know how it's like. And I would hope that it would work with the earpods, to be honest. But yep, I guess it doesn't. So now let's go ahead and finish the video. Okay guys, so this was my unboxing and review of the third generation Apple Shuffle. As I said, you know, like, I collect Apple stuff, and I saw this on a cheap price, and I was like, okay, let's get it. And it's quite fun with the bench here. Uh, as to use daily, I probably wouldn't use any of them because they don't have Apple Music. But I would probably prefer the fourth generation one, just because it's easier. And even though you cannot connect Bluetooth headphones to any of them, I think it's more convenient to change it in the iPod itself rather than in the cable. But yeah, it's just 
a matter of priorities. So let me know down below in the comments, did you have any iPod Shuffle at the time, or did you still have one or use one? Also don't forget to thumbs up if you liked the video, thumbs down if you didn't, and subscribe for more Apple related content coming every week. Also as always if you have any questions about this iPod, leave them down below in the comments and I will do my best to answer. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.